Hello there and welcome to today's ride and welcome to New Shoesville, population me. Over the last couple of rides or so, I've been trying out these Alpha 2.0 shoes from a company called Santic, who very kindly invited me to pick a pair from their website. So I went for the, the top of the range ones that they had, and these retail for £229 or $280. Now normally, I wouldn't uh, buy a pair of shoes for myself uh, quite that expensive but my rationale was that the shoes that I do buy for myself are usually the more budget ones and in the past that hasn't always been the best choice If you think about it, there are only three contact points between your body and the bike, and they are your hands, your ass, and your feet. And it's through your feet that all of the energy and power from your legs are transferred through the pedals to the drivetrain. So it's very important to get this right, not only from a power transfer point of view, but also from a comfort point of view. If you get it wrong, not only do you run the risk of cycling less efficiently, but you also run the risk of things like strains and injuries and knee pain. Now these shoes have some great features. They have a breathable mesh to help increase airflow when it's hot. They have an A-top closure system, a bit like the BOA system, where you can kind of ratchet the, uh, the tightness of the shoe. It has a very stiff carbon sole for excellent power transfer, and it also has an ergonomic hot foam sole to help mould itself to the shape of your foot. And it's incredibly comfortable. The problem that I personally have with cycling shoes is that I have incredibly wide feet and yeah not many cycling shoe manufacturers take this into account it's like everybody has nice little narrow feet in the past I've had success with brands like Shimano but these Santics are absolutely fantastic they have a nice wide fit and thanks to the ATOP closure system I can tighten it up so that my feet are nice and snug. On the whole, I would say they are a fantastic pair of cycling shoes. They do everything that you want. They're lightweight, if that's the sort of business that you're into. They look good, they have excellent power transfer, and they are very, very comfortable. Now having said that, the big question is, would I buy them if I was buying them for myself? Well, I have to be very honest and say no. And that's only because of the price tag. Like I say, they're 229 pounds or $280. And um, I, I better qualify that, basically, I'm Mr. Average bordering on Mr. Scrooge and I go for the sort of, you know, middle ground things when I buy things for my cycling. So, you know, not the most expensive, but not the most cheap thing either. And these shoes are the most expensive cycling shoes 
I've ever worn. And in fact, they're the most expensive pair of sh any shoes that I've worn ever in my entire life. And come to that, they're also the most expensive single item of clothing that I've ever worn in my entire life. These Alpha 2.0s are at the very top of Santix range of cycling shoes. If you want something a little more budget, then go over and have a look at their website. I'll include a link in the description below this vlog. Now you could go out and buy the world's most expensive cycling shoes, but it would be a complete waste of money and waste of time if you haven't got the cleats set up, which is a bit stupid as that's just time and effort. And if you want to know how to do that, then click on the video just here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.